All right, yo, it's Gray Matter. So, yeah, we about to get into this damn video. I'm just gonna be blunt. It's shit like this why women don't understand the difference between a man or a bear. Or actually, you know, they do know the difference. They just want to dehumanize you. And of course, we got this dude here dehumanizing men even further. So let's let's just fucking get into this shit. But just because she was nice to you, that don't mean she like you. She said thank you because you gave her a compliment, not because she's in love with you. Calm down. The cashier told you to have a good day. That don't mean start picking out baby names and planning a wedding. Oh, why was she smiling and being nice to me? I don't know. Maybe she was having a good day and she's a decent human being. Hell, for a lot of y'all, women be nice just to stay alive. A lot of y'all got that serial killer vibe and I've seen how y'all react to losing in video games, so I can imagine what women be going through. Bro, I held the door open for her. She didn't even suck my dick. Like, like, sir, go go have a seat. Bro. Moral of the story, y'all weird and you need to stop being weird because you make me uncomfortable, you're making women uncomfortable, you're making my toe itch. Now, what's making me uncomfortable is all this bullshit that keeps going around, that um, keeps circulating the fucking internet. So, men are the creeps. Once again, you know, men are being weird. Men are doing this, men are doing that. Men have violent serial killer vibes and she can just detect that shit off you. I'm, I'm so damn tired of hearing all this bullshit. I, I really am. All right. Because I know from just witnessing and personal experience that you just not being considered attractive, she's going to call you creepy. You could be minding your own damn business and she'll call your ass creepy. You try to spark a conversation, she's going to call your ass creepy and say that she fears for her life. If she's going to give you her number, you thinking that she's interested. Or at the very least, you got the number. You try to call her. She blocks your ass because in her mind, you're a fucking creep. Even though you're just not attractive to her. Just being blunt. All these chicks got all, all these damn stories and want to talk about men being weird and creepy. And the majority of it is just, oh, I just didn't like him. That's literally it. I didn't like him. Oh, he sent me letters. I didn't I didn't like the letters in my customer service job. My husband and his co-workers make everything so weird and uncomfortable. You crack a joke they don't like. You're fucking creepy. I I'm telling you this shit. I I'm tired of it. And they want to discuss men and how violent they are. But we don't ever talk about women and how they react when they get fucking rejected. We'll never discuss that shit. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. But whenever we do that, we get demonized. Oh, these red pillars, these incels, these these terrorists, these radical, radical young men, these Andrew Tate followers, even though me personally, I don't even fucking follow Andrew Tate. We show videos of a bitch key in the man's car and slicing his tires. No. Nope. Of chick. Whooping the shit out of her man. Let me tell you something. I've been beat by a woman before. Okay. And I just took the shit. I didn't swing back. Nothing. I have other men who have called me. And talked about this shit. With they chicks. Getting violent. We don't discuss that. Ever. But. With a woman and how she feels, that's the that's the top priority at this fucking point. A man to get fucking accused of rape, lose his job, lose all his money, get thrown in jail, only to find out that he was innocent and that the bitch was just uncomfortable. And she felt he was a creep. And for all this to be going down for, for, for men to just get online. Oh, man. Just because she's being nice to you don't mean that she like you. sound like the bitches we talk about. I'm just going to be blunt. It's that henpeck men shit. You think, you think dudes are just stupid out here like that? The only men I know who are like really, really just like that damn desperate attention and this is a small number mind you it's a small number 
and they're they're really the men who get just no love from anybody and then when someone finally you know is nice to them they get attached that's a small percentage yeah men men on a majority scale nobody gives a fuck about them i know that but there's very few men who are just taking this shit to the fucking extreme very few if anything i know more men who are afraid to approach women because they don't know how she's going to react than anything but we got to continue to perpetuate this shit and then here come the women out the woodworks with their stories and shit I'm good, bro. I'm I'm good. Y'all wondering why dudes ain't dating. Y'all wonder why dudes is flying overseas. You wonder why dudes are online with the podcast and shit. Y'all y'all wonder why and y'all want to fucking gaslight like nothing's going on. Like nothing's happening. Nothing exists. It's just the men. The men are creeps. Men are weird. These men are incels. All they do is sit home and play video games all day, even though that's literally impossible as an adult. Let's just be blunt here, but okay. Everybody got the horror stories. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. It's just not, not comedy. I get it. He was trying to be funny with the making my toe itch part. To me, that wasn't funny. They've been a little more creative with that shit. But that's beside the point, bro. Say I'm in my feelings, cool. But I go through, I'll, I'll wake up and fucking find five videos on Facebook about what a real man is. And I don't ever hear shit about what a woman's supposed to do. I, I don't, I don't ever hear that shit. I'm done. Peace.